authorities busted a huge marijuana growing operation. State narcotics agents say it joins a list of major arrests in the past year and a half. This morning's discovery takes us to Wagner County near 31st and South 207th East Avenue. That's where we find two news reporter Jason Grubbs live tonight. Here on this piece of property, detectives say housed a pretty elaborate system inside. As you mentioned, other busts have happened in the past year and a half in Green Country. State agents telling me today that some of those cases have been connected to a very dangerous group out of Mexico. On May 6th in Nowata County, sheriff's deputies seized millions of dollars worth of marijuana from a growing operation hidden in a forest. It's very extensive. This is the, where we're standing in right now is going to be the seventh field that we've come across today so far. And, and we believe this is going to be the last one. That day, more than 30,000 plants were found. Fast forward to last week when detectives took Tony and Amy Randolph into custody for an alleged operation near a Bixby Elementary School. And now, in Wagner County, 400 marijuana plants were seized from inside this home with an extensive setup. Investigators arrested 29-year-old Ricky Domai. Marijuana is still the number one choice in drugs. David Hale is the agent in charge of this area for the Oklahoma State Bureau of Narcotics. He says methamphetamine is still a problem, but marijuana far outpaces it. Marijuana is just something that people can grow in their own yard. They can grow in their house. They can, uh, that's why I think there's more still a problem with marijuana. Agent Hale but. says his team has tied three cases from this year and another three from last year to the Mexican drug cartel. It's the same group blamed for the violence south of the U.S. border. They were in North Texas a lot. They've uh, been in California for years. And now they're doing the same type of grow operations in Oklahoma. Agent Hale is hoping the six bust over the past year and a half will help send a message to the cartel. And as for this case out here, authorities say that they don't think today's arrest will be the last one. In fact, they're following up with several leads involving other suspects. Putting live from Wagner County tonight, Jason Grubbs, 2 News, works for you.